What's up, YouTube? You know what time it is. It's Mighty Fan time, and I know it's been a while since I've posted a video. I think the last time I posted a video, if I'm not mistaken, was um, when I had the pickup video a few weeks ago for that uh, Marshall Falk Mitchell Ness jersey. Or maybe I did another baseball jersey since then. I really forget, but um, I know it's been a few weeks since I've been posting any videos on YouTube, and, and uh, you know, it's just been a crazy couple of weeks with the weather. It's it's been so hot. We were in a big heat wave, and uh, you know you don't realize how you know uh, debilita debilitating it can be to be in one of those uh, until you're in one of those. And I was just I, I was just it was just crazy, you know. So I really wasn't in the mood to make any videos uh, or anything like that. I just kind of hung hung low for a while. Just you know, stayed in the shade and just got lazy <laughs> watching movies and whatever else and just, you know, not really doing too much else other than work, obviously. But, um, you know, and I'm, you know, working on, on what I work, what I do on DeviantArt.com, writing my stories and stuff. And I just got kind of, you know, uh, away from the video making for a little bit. But I, I, you know, have along you know along that time, I have obviously uh, kept tabs on YouTube and saw some of the videos that some guys have been putting out, like Murph and and Throwback King. And I know A Rock, you know, just uh, you know got you know back to making some videos. Good to see you again, A Rock. Hope everything's going well for you. And uh, still holding it down on West Coast. I'm wearing my Warriors jersey in this video. I got my Tim Hardaway jersey, Mitchell Ness. Cause this was a grail of mine for a while, and I finally got it at the uh, Super Bowl sale this past uh, February at the store. But um, keep doing your thing, holding it down for the West Coast. I know I've talked to some couple guys on on, uh, on Skype. I know I talked to Throwback King, and uh, I talked to uh, Murph just recently over the weekend. And I apologize. I'm, I'm really not on Skype too often. And I know uh, RM Forever wanted to... Uh, you know, add me to add him to, to my, uh, to my uh, you know, buddy list on Skype, which I did. Uh, but like I said, I'm, I'm just not on there too often, so I apologize if I'm not on there enough for, for, for people to chat with. But I try to get on there every now and then, and if I see any of you, any of you on there, you know, I'll definitely give you guys a buzz. But, um, you know, because I do, I do enjoy talking on Skype. It's just I, <laughs> I've been so busy. I've been so busy just doing my own, you know, I, I'm, I'm, as well as being in the community of jersey collectors, I'm also in another community on DeviantArt.com with some artists and some, you know, writers and some other people, and, you know, it's, it, it, it's, it's a balancing act sometimes. <laughs> but I'm very happy to know everybody that I do, including all my subscribers and, and fellow jersey heads here on YouTube and, of course, jerseycentral.org. Um, because I do consider all of you very good friends and, uh, you know, um, I do, I enjoy talking to all of you. So, you know, don't think it's that I don't want to talk to anyone. It's just sometimes I get, I, you know, it's the life of a writer, I guess. You get so into what you're doing and, and you just, you know, you get lost in it. <laughs> but as it is, uh, I wanted to continue on with my, um, my series that I was doing my weekly series doing the uh, ML during the baseball season, which is to show a different team every week. I know I missed a few weeks, but I'm just going to pick it up where I left off. I'm just going to do the one team this week, and then next week will be another. I'll continue it on, I promise. I'm getting there. <laughs> I'm almost running out of teams. But, uh, but this week, uh, the team of the week is the Houston Astros. And it's interesting about the Astros because this year I believe they're celebrating their 50th anniversary. And this is also the last year that the Astros are going to be in the National League because next year they're going to be in the AL West with the Texas Rangers to trying to develop a rivalry there, the, the Texas two-step. <laughs> um, and the Astros for 50 years have been in the National League. And uh, it's going to be kind of interesting seeing them represent the American League next year. And uh, so I thought it would be kind of interesting just to pick them this week. And with the fact that the National League won the All-Star game yesterday, 8 to nothing, go National League. My, my Phillies represented very well in that game, although the Giants represented a little better. <laughs> but my Phillies did hold, hold, hold it down for the National League as well, the representatives that were in there, Carlos Ruiz, 
uh, Cole Hamels and, of course, Jonathan Papelbon got the last out <laughs> of the game with Ruiz behind the plate, so that was pretty cool. And, yes, even though my Phillies have really struggled this season, I'm still a fan through and through, and hopefully they have a better second half. Do I think they make the playoffs this year? I'm going to say probably not. It's, it's really hard. There's so many teams they have to climb over just to get, even though there's an extra wild card, even to get that extra wild card. They have the talent to do so, but they have just been playing so inconsistently this season, and their bullpen is a mess, absolute mess. So, you know, we'll see. They do have Utley and Howard back, but it's it might be too little too late at this point to hopefully get Halliday back next week. But it's just – I mean, when Cliff Lee goes until July 4th to get his first win of the season, you know it's a bit of an off year <laughs> for the team. But that's how it's gone. It's been rough. But we've had some great years leading up to this. So, you know, we'll see. We'll see what happens. You know, we'll see what happens the rest of the way. But, uh, you know, we'll see. But the National League did win, though. Eight to nothing. Three straight years the National League won the All-Star game after American League was, like, dominating them. So it's good to see the NL Turn around, and speaking of the NL, of course, this team will be in the AL next season, but it is the Houston Astros, and I got a couple Astros, Mitchell Ness jerseys in the collection, and the first is this uh, really nice and pretty rare jersey. This is a, uh, a J.R. Richard Road Gray Astros jersey. It's from the 1973 season, and it's a really sweet jersey. I, of course, you all know I love Road Gray baseball jerseys, and this is one of them. It's got the zipper down front. Not a lot of teams wore the zipper back in the day. The Phillies did, and I know the Astros did. I think there may have been one other team or so, but most teams either just had the pullovers or button-ups back in those days, but there were a few that sported the zipper, <laughs> like the Astros did then and the Phillies. It's got the old Astros logo there with the Astrodome, and uh, that's, that's the only uh, patch it has, but it, it has that nice trim going around both sleeves and, of course, the neck. And there you see the Richard 50 double-stitched on everything, including the Houston on the front. Richard 50 on the back. No nameplate. All individually stitched letters. And the big 50 on the back. One of the great pitchers of back in the day, J.R. Richard, whose career was cut short due to, um, due to injuries. But, I mean, he and uh, Nolan Ryan were teammates at one point. And I'll tell you, that was a pretty good, good one-two combo right there. Two dominant pitchers back in the day. But, uh, yeah, J.R. Richard, Houston Astros. As I said, pretty rare jersey. You don't see it too often. I know they made his home white jersey, too, back in the day. But speaking of the uh, Ryan Express, I also have a uh, Mitchell and Ness uh, Nolan Ryan Astros jersey. And this one's from the uh, 1986 season. It's the pullover, of course. You've seen this jersey make the rounds a few times in other collections. It's a pretty popular jersey, and of course that other Astros jersey with the, the big the stripes <laughs> in the front always makes the rounds too. But this one has the stripes on the sleeve because it's from the uh, again it's from the '86 season, and that year the Astros celebrated their um, silver anniversary from 1962 to 1986 or something like that. Silver anniversary. It's a pretty cool patch on the uh, on the sleeve there. Another commemorative patch. You know I love those. Very nice jersey. Um, the Ryan is on a nameplate, single-stitched, and 34 is double-stitched on the back. And the uh, Astros on the front is also double-stitched with that star. Double-stitched. Very nice jersey, a head-turner. Get a lot of compliments with this one. I think it's probably because of the rainbow design. on <laughs> Stripes going down it. But I think it just adds to the jersey. It's very nice. Definitely a head-turner. And it is one of the pullover jerseys that I love. And, of course, if we talk about the Astros jerseys, we got to talk about the Astros hat from back in the day. And, of course, I have that hat as part of the collection. The bright orange. I almost call this the hunter's hat because it looks like a something that someone would wear out in the woods. <laughs> so, uh, but it's the, uh, the old Houston H there with the star. Of course, it goes with both jerseys. Now, this is a um, this is a um, um, Amer American Needle Cooperstown collection hat that they made back in the day, and I picked up a bunch of these. They were they were at like a Foot Locker and Foot Locker outlet store or something like real cheap. So I got a few of these uh, American Needle uh, throwback baseball hats back in you know some years ago. 
but I stocked up on them. <laughs> Just to go with the jerseys, you know. That's what I do. So anyhow, the Astros are the team of the week, so shout-outs to all the Astros fans out there. I know it's been some thin years for the Astros over in recent years. In fact, they gave some of their best players to the Phillies <laughs> in recent years, the pipeline. Um, but uh, nonetheless, this is their last year in the National League, going to the American League next season. In the AL West, battle out with those Texas Rangers and uh, uh, whatever they're called anymore, Angels, the An Los Angeles Angels of Anaheim, uh, the Oakland A's, and, of course, the Seattle Mariners. So it should be very interesting next season to see the Astros in the American League. Um, now, I also have a couple pickups, and I got two hats and I got one jersey. And uh, I had a, 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 a coupon at Models, like a, a reward kind of thing at Models. And uh, I was there over the weekend, and I picked this up because I kept going back and forth whether – whether I wanted to get one of the newer Nike jerseys at this point or wait a little bit, but I saw this, and as I said, I had the, 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 the coupon as it was, so I was able to take some some uh, money off of it. <laughs> and uh, so this is, um, and I was talking to Murph about this too, but this is the new, brand new for 2012 Nike. Now this is a replica jersey. It's not authentic, stitched or anything. But it's the replica Nike uh, NFL jersey, which have gotten a lot of talk about <laughs> since they uh, unveiled these. And this is, of course, if I'm going to get a, a Nike NFL jersey, you know the team I'm going to get first, right? The Eagles, <laughs> my team. Um, and, in fact, the Eagles are going to be wearing these again this year as an alternate jersey, to my chagrin. I, I really want them to wear the Kelly Greens. I've been saying this for years. They need to wear the Kelly Greens twice a year like the like the Chargers wear those powder blues, the Eagles should wear their old Kelly greens. But oh well, Eagles fans have only been saying that since you know since they got rid of them <laughs> many years ago. But they're going to be going back to these black jerseys. In fact, I have an authentic uh, Reebok Brian Westbrook black jersey, and that one's actually authentic, has the stitch numbers and everything. But this one, of course, is a replica, and it is of the current Eagles running back, Lashawn McCoy, and it is the new Nike. Um, replica jersey and there's a few things about this jersey that I want to I want to talk about because uh, I, I want uh, this to be like a public service announcement here because there is some things with these jerseys that you, you, you might want to know I know most of you don't go after the replica jerseys but even with the authentics I'm pretty sure they're going to be the same and the thing about the Nike ones that they did is that there's not as many air pockets in that <laughs> they're kind of off to the side at least for the replicas, I know the, the replicas are probably authentics too. They had that, Reebok did them, they had the mesh all over. And with uh, with Nike, it's, it's more of a, you know, non-mesh material, at least throughout most of the jersey. But it does have the pockets of mesh going on the side, along the sides. And that brings us to the shoulder and um, arm area. And they seemed a little snug. <laughs> now, I normally wear an XL for replica NFL jerseys, but I actually had to buy this in a 2XL because it fit a little better in, in the shoulder and arm area because you see these pockets, they kind of, they're a little restrictive in the arms, <laughs> so um, so you, you, you if you get these jerseys, I, I'm sure it's the same for Authentics, but Replica, Authentic, get a size bigger, and it's almost like that when we say about Mitchell Ness jerseys, sometimes it's better to get a size bigger. It's the same thing with these new Nike jerseys. You want to definitely get a size bigger. So if you wear an L, get an XL. If you wear an XL like me, get a double XL, um, because it definitely they, they fit they fit better, <laughs> a size bigger in the shoulder and arm areas at least. Um, length I thought was pretty good as an XL, but the the width wise for the shoulder and for the arms. I definitely would, rec like I said, recommend a size bigger. But like I said, this is a new Nike black alternate LaShawn McCoy. They'll be wearing this twice during the season, as I found out. Um, it has the NFL shield. You notice there's no more NFL equipment. It's just the the NFL shield, which I actually like a little better. You know, the NFL uh, equipment had the little extra there. But I always, you know, I grew up with this. <laughs> so I'm glad to see it back. Um of course, it has the Eagles. 25 with the trim going around there and the sleeve. Everything's, you know, pressed on. There's no stitching or anything. But And then you see the big Nike swoosh 
on the sleeves. And there's the McCoy 25 on the back. McCoy is on a nameplate, but not stitched, of course. And then there's the jock tag. And you notice it is a 2XL. So I might be the first jersey head to have one of these jerseys, so I'm kind of debuting it here. <laughs> but uh, he's my current favorite Eagle, LaShawn McCoy. I do have his Reebok replica green jersey. But I figured, hey, if I'm going to get a Nike, I want to get a LaShawn McCoy because he is my favorite Eagle, and I, I can wear this jersey when they wear their black jerseys this year, a couple times a year. Um, I'm happy with it. I think it, it's sharp. I like the numbers and everything. It didn't really change much from the Reeboks, but I think it really looks nice on this jersey. And he's a great running back out of the University of Pittsburgh. I mean, he was kind of compared last season with the season he had to, like, Adrian Peterson and LaDainian Tomlinson some of their great seasons, so it was pretty cool to hear that, even though it was a losing year for the Eagles. McCoy definitely had a great year, and he's young, so hopefully he can just keep getting it. Unless, you know, with running backs, sometimes they get hurt, but hopefully he stays healthy, and he's a big part of their their offense, current offense and future offense, so I'm, I'm glad he's an Eagle because he's a, he's a really, really good runner, great running back, and I'm happy to watch him every Sunday. But, uh, and you know I'm a big fan of running backs, so um, I'm glad to watch Mr. McCoy every week do his thing and do his little dance when he gets in the end zone. <laughs> the shady shuffle or whatever he calls it. But uh, anyhow, um, yeah, so that's that's the jersey, and I got a couple hats. And you know, as I always say, it's all about the swag factor, the jersey hat combo. And uh, I've been looking for a hat for this jersey for many years because I have a newly inducted into the Hall of Fame, the Russian Rocket, Pavel Burry. I have his, uh, I have his Vancouver Canucks jersey, the old Canucks jersey, circa the year they went to the finals and lost to the Rangers in 94. But I have that jersey. And it's white, and it has the old colors, and I've been looking for a hat for it for many years. And now, finding a Vancouver Canucks hat here in Philadelphia is not very easy. Now, I could have bought one online, I know, I know, but I was patient. <laughs> And I came across this one that goes with it perfectly. So here it is. This is a brand new Mitchell & Ness snapback. And a store was having a sale. If you bought two hats, you got them for, I think it was like 45 bucks or whatever it was. But I got this because, you know, it, it's the logo, it's the colors that they wore that I have the jersey with. I don't have the jersey in my hand right now. It's kind of it's back here. But <laughs> it's kind of tucked away with all the other hockey jerseys. But... This is the hat that will go with it. You notice it has the Canucks on both sides, big and bold. It's a style that they had back in the 90s, and we all know Mitchell Ness is bringing back those 90s snapbacks, so definitely brings back some memories for me. And you notice the Mitchell Ness name on the back. You know the brand. And it's got the green under brim. So um, this hat and this next one, of course, uh, hometown fids and all the other Canadian viewers, shouts to you because this is more love for Canada for Mighty Fan. So you know that's what Mighty Fan loves to do is give give love to Canada and my neighbors to the north. So there you go. There's one of your teams, the Canucks. And then here's the other. And we're going to go to basketball. And we got the Toronto Raptors. And a hometown fid really likes this one because that's his, that's his basketball team. So there you go. There's your Raptors in that purple. And I really like this hat because it's gray. I don't have any rap gray Raptors hat. I have a couple uh, purple ones, but just that gray really, you know, sets it all off. I really liked it, so I picked it up. This isn't a Mitchell Ness. This is a whole, uh, Hardwood Classics um, hat. The brand is a 47. 47 brand makes this. And I thought they did a pretty cool job with it. I like that, the big logo in the front with the big Raptors, and it's got the... Uh, Raptor on the side too. And I hope to get the Vince Carter Raptors jersey from this era. Um, I know Mitchell Ness is making it. Um, hopefully, there's one still around during the uh, the, um, uh, the the the, the, the uh, I want to say Super Bowl, but no, it's the Black Friday sale in November. <laughs> is uh, I figure this hat would go pretty good with it too, as well as the purple ones too. But I just like that gray. I think it really you know sets everything off, just like it does in baseball jerseys. <laughs> So there you go. To uh, so all the Canadian viewers out there, here's two of your teams in Mighty Fans' humble collection. Um, 
Raptors and Canucks, and of course now I finally have a hat to go with that Pavel Burry jersey. I've been looking for one, and I came across it, and I was so happy. It was like Christmas Day for me. I did, I did the Mighty Fan. Oh, I did. The Mighty Fan was brought out for it. <laughs> but anyhow, uh, to all my viewers, all my uh, you know subscribers, of course, to all my fellow Jersey heads, family, friends, DeviantArt members, uh, anyone that I left out, to you too, uh, this is Mighty Fan saying peace. I'm sorry it's been a while since my last video, but I will continue to make this series every week of these throwback baseball jerseys, team of the week. Like I said, this week was the Astros. I don't know who will be next week. We'll see. But, but anyhow, uh, this is Mighty Fan saying, once again, saying peace, and I will see you in that next video. Okay, bye.